Welcome to Hydro Express channel. Hi. I'm Lauri. I'm Hanna. And here we have some trees or part of them and we are going to find out how strong are trees. And we have cut these down from our own yard. We do that in Finland. We have lots of trees and we sometimes cut them down. And we also burn them. Or make them into paper or houses or whatever. But today we are going to crush them and then burn them. Okay, and here we go. The trees are a bit different sized, so I'm going to measure the girth of the every tree, this is 49, and then we are going to multiply the results, not multiply, I <laughs> divide the results by the thickness of the tree, and then we can find out how strong is the tree in general, not this specific tree over here. And yeah. Here we go. I start slowly so we get the best possible data and we are going to use also the position sensor so we see when it starts to fail. Okay, this is pine. Pine tree. Pine tree. And this is my favorite tree because of the fruits, yeah. the pineapples. I say 20 tons. No, oh. five. Okay. <laughs> I was saying that 20 is quite much. I say, okay, I say 10. Okay, here it goes. Okay, it okay. was like 30 <laughs> something. That was a lot more than we thought. Way more than we thought. They really get crossed with this one. Ah, and then they grow back. Yeah. So... Oh. Mm. Really strong smell. Yeah, really tiny. Yeah, I think this is... I do you... We have to... We have to... We have to stop the cameras. I, I want to add the thermal camera. Oh, yeah. And here it goes. And now with the thermal camera. Yep. Okay, I think this is going to be strong. I mm. say 50 tons. Uh -huh. Hmm. 70. Oh, that's a lot. Uh -huh. Okay, let, let's see how it goes. Forty, fifty, sixty, seventy. 80? Oh, it's already broken. Oh, it's already broken. I don't Okay, it's ready. Yeah. This is nice that yeah. the uh, press is so stiff that even if it's a bit uneven, yeah. we can just keep going. Let's go and check. The juice is different now. It's but bright. Mm. Yeah, that's true. It's like water. It's not mm. like... It was milk before. Yeah. And uh, the koivu water, you can drink this. Mm -hmm. It's called mahla. Yeah, it's a bit like maple syrup of Finland. Doesn't taste anything, it's not sweet. And uh, mm. I think the only cool thing is that it doesn't give you a diarrhea. Mm. And this is the Christmas tree. Mm. Don't eat this. This tastes bad. Mm -hmm. But the moomins eat the yeah, green the things tree, on these. Tree needles. <laughs> Lot of, a lot no. of like specific language yeah, today. We really know the words behind the trees. 
No better tree scientist than us. Oi. That's like four. Okay, time to finish it off. This doesn't smell good. Mm. The yes. pine tree was the best, best smell. Yeah. It smells a bit different than the fruits. It's it's oh. like more piney and not so fruity. Mm. Okay, mm. then we have uh, mystery tree. Mystery. I have no idea. Oh, holy shit. Holy. I just knew. Only, only, only reason why this is here is the fact that it was growing on the wrong spot. Mm. It was uh, blocking the lake view. So it had to go. Yeah. But this is what we call shit tree in Finland. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like, it just grows a lot. And I think nobody builds anything from this. It's no. just annoying. Mm. Oh, 70. That was a hard ass tree. Oh, it fell. How, how you say? It fights back! Really badly. Oh. Bit more speed. I think that's the sound they use when Titanic was uh, cut, uh, yeah. <laughs> going down. <laughs> it's yeah, it sounds like movie yeah, sound. Yeah, movie effects. sound. But uh, actually, there is there is one Finnish tree, really really special tree, that is the strongest. You have to ma like make it. It's koivu, but you pour small amount of vodka on its roots every week. That's called perkele tree in Finland. I have one piece of that. Okay, let's see. Eighty tons. Really? I was sure that it it has, has to be stronger. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, there is some perkele inside of the tree. <laughs> the whole machine is shaking. Okay, oh. let's see. I think we might have also some clues. What makes the perkele tree so perkele tree so strong? Because uh, when you have a lot of sisu, holy shit, <coughs> it's smoking. <laughs> yeah, it feels like steel. Steel spine inside of the tree to make it extra <laughs> strong when you give the vodka treatment. That's the that's the like magic behind the perkele tree. Okay, then couple extra trees. This is a dead rotten birch, but it was still over like 25 tons. So surprisingly strong. It was cut down by the wind. And then this is like fresh birch, laying outside, really satisfying. And lot of juices coming out from all the trees. 
And I think this might be actually quite good way to make like firewood because it's like split and also dried up at the same time. And it's also like uh, uh, opens the structure so it dries more, like dries faster on the sun. And it's also easier to light on fire. Uh, I can do update when we burn these trees. I think it's going to take still like maybe half a year for them to dry up. But on the end of the summer they are ready to be burned. Uh, yeah, but uh, here are the results on a nice graph, I hope. <laughs> and now I go build the graph and Hanna has, Hanna has some work to do here. Hope you enjoyed the video. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.